Hello everyone, I am the Most Intelligent Sphere, and we are here with a second attempt to record this game, Toho 14, latest in the Toho Danmaku shooters. We have kind of a, whoops, have kind of a horror story for you. We recorded this game probably, I want to say the day it came out or the day after it came out. I think it was later the same day, yeah. Yeah, one of those. We were probably some of the first to cover it. And by a blunder on my part, like just now, um, the file, well, not a blunder on my part, I'm going to go ahead and say that the uh, computer trolls broke into my house and deleted the file yep. on purpose. I'm pretty sure Space so Whale's ate it or something like that. Yeah, Space Whale. Giant Sky Squids. Details are fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, the sky, it was eaten by Sky Squids. How's that? The file was eaten by Sky Squids. So, um... Ow, I just died. I'm not paying attention tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, as much as we would have loved this to be a blind one run for everyone, unfortunately it just doesn't work that way. But we're here again. Hopefully it'll be as entertaining as the last time. Yeah, and so... Uh, I totally never got angry in that recording that was lost, by the way. Never, oh, no. not at all. He kept his uh, cool the entire time going through a Toho game blind. That's right. Even <laughs> though I got like three or four times bullets that, like, as far as I can tell, didn't exist at all. Uh, <laughs> even though my game crashed like four times, and even though I like failed to play even passably a lot, you know, I, I, I think I, I, I stayed pretty calm. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> and I have lost both of my starting lives in the beginning of stage one. This is looking up to be rather positive. <laughs> uh, you're just out of focus. You're, yeah, just, it takes a little while to warm up. I cannot also, brain tonight. Once you figure out how this game gives resources, it is way too generous. <laughs> like, oh man, seriously? You might get even more resources in this game than like in Mountain of Faith. Where uh, you can I basically bomb have, but, but beating IN in sheer resource generosity is what, going to be one hell of an achievement. Oh, it's doable. Like, it, I generally... Okay, so I played this a little, like, last night, and I... I effectively had gained a total of about 13 lives. Hmm. Uh-oh. Huh. What happened there? Ramu just called Sikibanki a Dullahan, and I wonder if that is a mistranslation, or if Ramu actually says that, which would raise all kinds of confusion and or debates. So, that's something I'll have to look into later. Alright then. Because obviously, so, the people watching the video can't tell, but Angel and I are using the translation. Yeah, the patcher keeps crashing for me for some reason. I can't figure out why. Yeah. So you people all get to witness the glory that is an untranslated Toho game. <laughs> I like Toho 14. It's a good game. This just might replace Subterranean Animism as my favorite Danmaku title. I definitely still like SA more, but DD DDC is definitely up there. Uh, per perhaps the main reason I say it's difficult to displace is that he just loves the characters too, too much. Yep. Uh, no one's ever gonna beat Satori. <laughs> or at least it's extremely unlikely. I suppose I can conceive that... I can conceive of a situation where it could happen. It'd be damn tough, though. It's just that unlikely. Yeah. Alright, and if I remember correctly, you are Yatsuhashi, I think? Ah, stage from the buff, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember who you are. Or specific shot type. Yeah. Remember, one of them is Ben Ben, and the other one's name is way longer and more complicated. Yeah, Ben Ben <laughs> is the one with white hair, and I think Yatsubashi, Yatsushiba, I don't even remember. They sound like monitor brands, for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> she's the one who looks like the product of Aya and Hitate passing out drunk together somewhere. Right, she's the Koto, uh, Tsukugamagami. Tsukumagami. I can words. Oh. Well, they're Japanese, who can blame you? Yeah. I don't know. Also, if anyone out there knows what the difference between a Biwa and a Loot is, I'd like to know. Like, is it just a nomenclature difference, or is there actually a difference between the two instruments? Hello, Ben Ben. It's so nice to see you again. 
You see, she looks, like, too dignified and civilized to, like, make fun of. Uh, also, you were right, yeah. Yatsuhashi. Ah, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Because I'm on a roof that has her as the boss instead of the mid-boss. Still sounds like a brand of television, but oh well. <laughs> I've heard people say these uh, note bullets have wonky hitboxes, but I've not really noticed that issue. Like, avoid the glowing part. Seems pretty obvious, but I don't know. I can kind of see where they're coming from, but they're certainly not worse than the um, lasers. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, uh, he, uh, for whatever reason, uh, uh, Intel has definitely has something against those lasers. I have this hang up with lasers that I just can't get over. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, I, I think I've got an idea. How how about next time we we played UFO and showed him the the ins laser insanity that awaits in stage five? Is that requires him to get past the laser insanity in stage three. I was about it? to say that assumes I make it to stage five, which from the horror stories you've told me about UFO, I don't think I can. Ichiran is not an easy boss fight. I will say that. Hell, Kugasa is not an easy boss fight. <laughs> Until you get the hang of her, and then, you know. And I just wanted that boss fragment, so I bombed. There. Also, I definitely like the chord arrests and chord notes, you know. It's pretty obvious these two have a musical theme. Ow. Especially compared to, you know, the Prism Rivers, who kind of had some staff-like looking stuff, but nothing compared to these guys. Plus, their lasers actually look like a... Uh sheet of music. Ow! Yeah, a music staff. It's patchouli all over again. I can make it to you without losing any life, and then you drain all my lives. <laughs> Dang it, Ben Ben. Isn't Yatsuhashi supposed to be helping you? Or am I crazy? No, actually, uh, that, that goes something to the effect of, hey, 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 I, I was fighting her! And the boss is like, uh, well, sorry, I'm here now. Go find someone else to fight. She's like, well, and my turn. You don't shoo -shoo. Fight. Like, Fine, I will. <laughs> Never liked you anyways. Exactly. I don't want to get my hands dirty anyways. <laughs> um, well, okay, so the thing I notice is that they're Tsukumagami of stringed instruments. And so the obvious pairing for them will forever be Lunasa. Because <clears throat> she can play stringed instruments without using her hands. Crap. Because that doesn't sound wrong at all in this context. <laughs> That's exactly the point I was getting at. <laughs> so, that's it. Fan artists, I demand to see art of that. And by see art of that, I mean hear that that art exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't lie. You're going to follow all the links. Well, of course I will, because I've got to see proof. It's like the whole Pixar didn't happen thing? Right. Hey, be careful what you wish for. I'm not even paying attention, and somehow I'm still alive. Granted, I gave over no, once, part but... Of it. Hey, not, like, hey, who knows? Maybe running off the mouth, help, uh, ironically, actually helps you do better. Uh, I might, I might have a case of that, but I'm not entirely sure. Shoot. Yeah, um, certainly not uncommon. So, hello there, stage 5 boss. I hate your bullets, because they make me freak out, even though they aren't actually that difficult to dodge. <coughs> oh, ow. Okay, I don't know if that was a case of hitbox displacement or if I was just being a noob. And you know what? I think I was just being a noob. <laughs> so what yeah. happened there? I ran into the side of a bullet, not thinking I would actually hit the side of the bullet. Uh. <laughs> they only have hitboxes at the bottom, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be my last continue. I have no idea who you are, but you... Oh my god. Saw the final boss? I'm afraid to comment because I'm afraid of what people will think of me. What comment! I don't want to comment. This is a blind impression. Do it! Um... As penance for losing our all of our first impressions. Oh god, popcorn bullets. Okay, popcorn bullets. There's my, um, first impression. What do you think? Oh shoot. Oh, wow. That's, like, not cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this is 
Shin Miyamaru Tsukuna, and uh, there's a bit of a translation confu like debate going on over what to translate her race as. Uh, as you may have noticed, she's holding like a sewing needle and a mallet, which, if you're very familiar with Japanese mythology, probably tells you right off who she's a reference to. <clears throat> to be honest, the only Japanese mythology... Crap. Alright. The only Japanese mythology I know comes from Toho, so if she's never been, Toho, been in Toho before, then I don't know what she is. Uh, have you ever played Okami? My friend keeps telling me to, but I have not yet. Okay. Well, long story short, uh, do you know of Tom Thumb? <laughs> yes. That's probably the closest Western equivalent. Um, huh. I'm She's not... holding a sewing needle. That is to scale. <laughs> oh. Um. No wonder she looks like she's like eight. Right. Um. She's a Kobito, which has been translated as dwarf or inchling or a number of other things, and it's not certain which the fandom will settle on. I hope it's not dwarf because way too many people are going to think that kind of dwarf. The classical fantasy dwarf, in other words. Exactly. <coughs> She's way smaller than a classical fantasy dwarf. So, basically, what is going to happen is they're going to debate over for so long, but it's going to be like um, reading Mei Ling's name in either Chinese or Japanese, and they're just going to eventually settle on, why not just call her Chibi? Well, eventually... One of the... One of the options that has been just leaving it as Kobito, just not translating it. I mean, we don't translate Oni. You know? I think I've already said this several times that this is the option I favor. Yeah. Honestly, it's not a bad option. Yeah, that would work. Fuck. Not to mention, since translating yokai would mean monster. Right. I mean, there are, there are enough untranslated things that people just kind of get, you know? I mean, it's expected at this point. I would much rather have it be left Kobito than translated as Dwarf. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel any better, I'm on my last credit on, like, the middle of stage four. And he's been playing normal, like, several Whoa. hours longer than... <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I'm so glad I'm recording this. Is that a glitch, or what is that? Now, now you've made me go and have to check... The oh, video I, later. I don't. I have no idea what that was. And uh, 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 Shiro of all people just showed up. I was about to say, holy crap! Exactly. Oh, wow. Our lost he member. Yes, <laughs> but he seems to be on the yellow status. Bug him anyways. Oh, mm -hmm. well, once I've got, once my hands aren't full. Ouch. Versus all like, oh, hey, a mermaid. That's right. I'm supposed to eat mermaids. She's like, what are you doing? Don't do that. What? Well, the mermaid legend in... The mermaid legends in Japan all revolve around eating said mermaid. Okay, then. That's so, of course, the first thing Krista sees when she sees a mermaid is like, Oh, man! I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> that differs slightly from the American perception, as far as I know. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Although, the gentleman I'm already pestering him. <laughs> yep. So, um. Oh right, yeah, Marissa, cannibalism. Apparently, it's okay because Wakasaka Hime is not a person. She's a she's a fish. Look, yokai can eat humans. Why can't humans eat yokai? Exactly. But Marissa's totally firmly fair. against humans eating humans. At least if she has to, because you gross. <laughs> She's so picky for her immortality gain. Come on. As much as I'd love to think I would, I'd never survive in Gensokyo. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, okay. In my head, Gensokyo is like really hostile to outsiders. 
I was about to say, strike that. With everything I know so far and everything I've gathered, assuming I went to Gensokyo with all this knowledge I have, I think I could last a fair amount of time. May you be. Hostile towards outsiders, yes, but so are small towns like here in the outside world. I speak from well, experience. Sure. The difference being that the inhabitants of the small towns here don't generally try to eat you. What about the human village? That's a safe, basically safe place. Yeah, true, basically. But, what I'm, yeah, the gist I'm getting from Aku's, like, perfect memento and the strict sense stuff is that outsiders don't count as people. Genishiro did not respond, calling him again. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because basically, she's like, people aren't eaten by yokai nowadays, and then, like, she turns around immediately and says, oh, yeah, by the way, outsiders eaten by yokai, like, all the time. It's basically what happens to them. I thought it... <laughs> I don't know, I thought the way it worked... Dang it, why does that always get me? I thought the way it worked was that, um... It's, like, technically against the rules for yokai to hunt and eat humans, but they generally let it slide for outsiders because it doesn't affect Gensokyo. Uh, maybe, yeah. Well, there's also the whole vampire incident, like... Agreement. Oh, which yeah, is, about that. hey, Romilia, don't cause a, a ruckus again and we'll keep you steadily su supplied with people from the outside world for food. So they hired Slender and Man, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, by, by that you mean Saku, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now, um... Now suddenly... That's, that's something that's really, like... That colors a lot of my perception of Gensokyo, is that basically the people who Gosh. live there are like, okay, don't get too attached to outsiders because of their food. Like, if they're here, they're probably going to get eaten, so don't get too attached. Hmm. Which means Sanae had probably one hell of a time on, you know, appearing at the top of Yokai Mountain. Probably a really good thing she had all of those superpowers already. <laughs> I thought that was Kanako's doing. Uh, well, her appearing at the top of Yokai Mountain, maybe, but, uh... Her superpowers are the result of her using. Oh, uh, Jen, welcome to our, welcome to our call. Maybe we should uh, speak have a little introduction to you. I finally I get to hear his voice. Woo! Me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You. You. It, it. Way too long for you to show up. It's about time you did. Welcome to the show. Yup. For the first time, like ever. Wait. Yay. That sounds really heavily distorted. <laughs> yeah, sort of. So we I'm are doing. <laughs> so we are doing Toho 14. Um, I have a YouTube channel, so I'm putting this on YouTube. This is Toho time. Um, any objections? Feel free to voice them now. If not, welcome to the internet. Welcome. Uh, uh, you sounded broken. Someone sounded quite broken up. Yeah, I couldn't hear whatever was just said. Technical difficulties. They are running a running theme of this. <laughs> Run, a running gag in here, right? They happen. Yeah. It's like that might as well be our catchphrase. Bugs happen. <laughs> And it's a picture of, like, Nitori holding a wrench and looking confused. <laughs> Damn it. Man, I fucked up that collect. Stage 3 is really good for farming power-ups. <laughs> Assuming you don't, like, fuck it up like I just did. Like stage 2 in the OSD. Wow, okay. Marissa A is violent! It's like, hey, Kagura, I bet your hair would burn really well. <laughs> like, whoa! Uh, okay! Uh, this, rem this reminds me of of why I played, started Marisa in the first place. I wanted to see just how crazy she was hanging on to, to that possessed weapon. Yeah, um, she's basically a pyro, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Light all the things on fire. <laughs> Ow. It's like, well, what do you do when God gives you a flamethrower? Burn everything. <laughs> When God gives you, when God gives you fire, <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> Build a man a fire, he'll be warm for a night. Set him out on fire, and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, oh well, that's don't make me laugh so loud. Isn't it? <laughs> don't make me no. laugh so loud. I've got someone sleeping in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was bullet spawning on top of me. I call bullshit, Kagero. So, philosophical question: mm -hmm. Can Cerno get colds? <gasps> She's an idiot, so clearly not. No. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that whole thing in Japanese culture. Um. I. I would assume s she's as susceptible to cold as most yokai are, which is to say, not terribly. Uh, which which is actually quite quite ironic because her because she has the ability to cool off the air around her. Well, yeah, I was about right. to say, isn't like, isn't like the air around her enough to like give you frostbite? Yeah, basically. So then, if she's, she's one of those people you can notice when she enters the room, because suddenly the air just kind of grows really chilly. Man, she should play that off and just be like, "I am totally uh, like, ha ha, I am super powerful evil person." I mean, no one would buy it, but it'd be a good joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got one extra life. That's what was good. that boss's name? Yatsu. He should. Oh, I'm fighting her now, and I already cannot remember. Yatsu Shiba. Yatsuhashi, yes. is that Yatsuhashi. Yep. Yeah. Yatsuhashi. Yeah. Why did I get Yatsushiba? Now that is a brand mm -hmm. of laptop. <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm getting a 1cc this time. Uh, I'm gonna be called such a racist after minutes. this video. Which is unforgivably low. What? So what did you say about the... the... I am gonna be called such a racist after this video. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just that that's a brand of TV, that's a brand of laptop. All those comments. <laughs> Like that's what Japan does, right? They make electronics, <laughs> and anime, <laughs> and Toho, <laughs> and porn. Come on. <laughs> well, okay, there's that. Damn straight. Um, although Marissa B is also very good because, as you mentioned, it lasts a long time. I I heard somebody eat a bullet in their game. I think it was Jen. <laughs> oh, it tastes good. <laughs> so you say, but have you tried them with salt? <laughs> oh, but I've tried them with extra spicy peppers. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Those uh, are a little too hot for me. Uh, okay. That that thing of not continuing is a is a bullshit thing <laughs> that is dead and buried by now. No, forget That's... it. Dead, cremated, and buried. You cremated it, then not you buried it. Did you remember to bury it upside down at a crossroads? Because it's not in my back <laughs> life. <laughs> no, I did not forget that. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> but, but People yeah, are probably wondering why you were burying an abstract concept, or indeed how you were burying an abstract concept. <laughs> Blame you, Tari. Like, what are you doing at this crossroads with a shovel? Burying my... my... dismay. You're like... <laughs> you're speaking metaphorically, right? <laughs> of course I You no, found speaking, a way. Literally. That thing in that hole there, that's my dismay. <laughs> Isn't that a human body? Yes, and I'm very dismayed that they're not alive. Did you kill them? Much to no. my dismay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, folks. <laughs> Calling it for tonight. Right. Don't Catch know all y'all's later. Eh. Mm. Eh, and and in, indeed, uh, just just wasn't one of of Intel's finest days. Sadly. Uh, it's okay, we can all mock him ruthlessly for it later. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends! <laughs> <laughs> Probably recent insomnia combined with my uh, latest screw-up of deleting our first attempt at recording this. Won't do it again, by the way. I know what my mistake was. Uh, I ended, ended up kind of kind of forgetting about it with, with what was the uh, entertainment of this call. <laughs> yeah, this was this was a pretty fun, fun few hours. Yeah, the, the only thing it was lacking actually was the... Was the the magic of it being a bl or blind first time? Yep. Also, was... people don't get to see me being angry, <laughs> <laughs> which, which was... I totally never would be. It was it like was a the wild anti in his natural habitat. It was this weird <laughs> um, Freudian moment for everybody. I really wish you could have seen it. <laughs> uh, uh. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. So long.